hi everyone you are welcome back again to see concept i want to say a massive thank you for joining me once again to this tutorial and uh, if you are new here i say you are most welcome in this channel i create content around fashion to my returning fans i say you are most welcome so without wasting much of our time today i shall be showing you how to draft an off shoulder bustier blouse and the basic measurement needed are the chest line the bust line, on the bust, waist line, hip line, and the hem line. And the, as you can see here, the total number of my blouse from the nape of my neck down to the hem line is a 26. Yeah, 26. Then I added one inch to it, making it 27. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So guys, as you can see on my table, I've place my pattern paper on fold with the biggest part of my body and if you are cutting directly on your fabric always do the same okay so as you can see also I've place all the vertical measurements all the vertical lines that is the measurement from the shoulder line down to the M line of my blouse okay and then from this edge to this line is my apex to apex, which is always called nipple to nipple. My apex to apex is 9 inches. I divided it by 2. I have a 4 and a half inches. Then I went ahead and added half an inch to it, making a 5 inches. So from this folded edge to this line is my apex to apex. Okay. Now... From the upper part of the blouse, which is the off shoulder, I want my blouse to be half by 5 inches, 5 inches length, okay? And uh, what I did here was that from the 5 inches, I deducted half an inch from it for joining, okay? And I have 4 and a half inches left, okay? So I placed the half an inch here, okay? So by the time I join it to the four and a half inches, I will have my five inches. Okay. So if you are making yours, consider that as well. Okay. If you want your off shoulder to be four inches after making it, you reduce it by half an inch. That half an inch will be for joining. By the time you join it to three and a half, you have, by the time you finish it, you have your four inches. Okay. So, the five inches now, I deducted it from my arm hole depth. My arm hole depth is a nine inches. So nine minus five, I have a four inches left. So from this line to this line is a four inches, which later give me my chest line. So from that chest line, I now move further to my bust line. My bust line is 11 inches. I added half an inch to it, making it 11 and a half. My Honda boss is 15 inches plus half an inch, making 15 and a half. My waistline is 17 inches plus half an inch. My hip line is 26 inches plus half an inch. So I now added one inch to the blouse, making it 27 inches. Before we go ahead placing the measurements, if you are finding it difficult to place your fabric on fold, kindly watch my video on how to place fabric on fold. I hope you will like it because it's a funny video. I speak a uh, pidgin English. You will like it. Okay. So from these damp parts, I'll be taking a one inch on my right side. Okay. Which is this side. I'll be taking one inch. And whatever you take here for this, my method, it works for every size. Okay. Because why I say so is that by the time you finish it and you want to join it, you won't have problem joining both panels together, okay? It works perfectly, okay? And you see everything will fall into places by the time you use this method. It works for all sizes, okay? So, from this damp pass, I will place one inch. I don't know if you can see me very well. One inch here. Then whatever I place here, I will take it to the hem line of the blouse, one inch. So what I have here, I will divide it by two, making half an inch. Then I will place half an inch here. I will take it down as well. So whatever you have on your hip line, 
you take it to your waistline too. So I will repeat same on my waistline, one inch, then half an inch. Then from the underboss, because this is where the shape is going to protrude, okay? So for this one inch I place on my waistline here on the right side, I will add half an inch to it, making a one and a half. So on the right side of the underbust, I will place a one and a half inches. Then on the left side, remember on the waistline, okay, on the left side of the waistline, it was half an inch. Then I will go ahead and add a one quarter to it, making a three quarter. Three quarter is equivalent to 0 0.75. So I will place a three quarter here here three quarter then from the bust line i will be coming down by one inch reason be that this will give the bust room to stay very well okay and it also depends on how busty you are if you are small or medium three quarter or half an inch okay but for me i'll be coming down by one inch okay so, having done that, I will now go ahead and connect all the dots together. Then, from the upper part, which is the starting point of the, of the blouse, remember the apex to apex, which is nipple to nipple. I don't like calling it that name. So, the apex to apex is a 5 inches. So, I will add 1 inch to the 5 inches. That makes it a 6 inches. Then I will place the 6 inches on the upper part here. Why? Because after making it this way, you will have a, a perfect bustier. Okay? You have a perfect bustier. The bustier will stay properly on your bust. I don't know if you get me very well. So, 6 inches on this uh, upper part. Then I will connect it to the bust line. Then on the both side of this uh, line I just connected, whatever I place down here, I will repeat same on this upper part. On the right side, I will place one inch. On the left side, I will place half an inch. Then on the bust line, Okay, I will go up by one inch. Same thing we did on the lower parts. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and connect it together. Then having done that, I will blend this uh, parts together. Then the next thing now is to place our circumference. So, to take the circumference now, that is the measurement around the body, we need to consider everything we took here because we are still going to slit it open. So, remember to replace whatever you took from this center part and replace it back. Okay? So, from this upper part, I will be placing my neckline. I want my neckline to be 5 inches. Then I'll be adding one inch to hit for joining, making six inches. That is joining this part together, making six inches. Then I will be adding one and a half that I took from this place. I will replace it, making a seven and a half. Then I will now add one inch to hit, okay, making a eight and a half. That one inch is to join the sleeve to the blouse, okay. So with that, you have a perfect sleeve and a perfect uh, uh, off shoulder, okay? So all together now, I will have a eight and a half. I'll go ahead and place it here. Then from the chest line, my I'll, from the chest line, I will place in the circumference of my bust. The, my bust circumference is 48 divided by 4, making 12 inches. Then I will be adding half an inch to hit for his, making 12 and a half. 
then from this part i will be replacing whatever i took from this part which is half an inch making 30 inches then i'll go ahead and add the one inch for joining making 14 inches i'll place it here then whatever i have on my chest line here i will repeat it on my bust line so i'll go ahead and place 14 inches here also so from my under bust the circumference of my under bust is 40 inches divided by 4 that makes it 10 inches plus 1 inch for joining that makes it 11 inches so what i took here i i took a one and a half on the right side and three quarter so together making a two inches and a quarter so i will approximate it to two and a half that makes it a i think that will make it a 14 yeah so from my waistline the circumference of my waist is a uh, 44 divided by 4 that makes it 11 plus 1 each for joining that makes it a uh, 12 then from here i took a one and a half that makes it a uh, 13 and a half then from my hip line the one quarter of my hip is a uh, 13 inches okay then i'll be joining it together missing making 14 inches then i'll be adding half an inch to hip for his making a 14 and a half then i took away one and a half here making a 16. then i will take it to the hemline 16 inches And I'll go ahead and connect all the dots together. Then from this waistline, I'll go ahead and uh, blend it together because I don't want to have a sharp edge there. Then on the hemline, I want to give the damp part of my blouse a curve because I don't want it just plain like that. So I'll be going up by one and a half inches then to the upper part i will go ahead and join the arm o i've done that i'll go ahead and add a two inches allowance to the same side so from this upper part remember from the, i left one inch for the to join the sleeve together so this is the one inch okay this one inch will be the allowance for joining the blouse and the sleeve together okay so from this part i will create my net depth okay from the starting point of the blouse, I want my neck depth to be 2 inches. It's either you go up by 2 inches or you come down by 2 inches. Whatever you want, okay? Okay? It depends on your preference. So, you now go ahead to give it your preference shape. For this tutorial, I want mine to be keno shape. I think we are almost done with the front piece now. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. Okay. So I will not be cutting off the neckline for this tutorial. Pardon me for that. Okay. Maybe next class, but I want to cut it on my fabric, we'll do that, okay? So I'll 
Stop cutting the knee size going to look. This is the middle panel. And this is the side panels. I don't know. I think with this method, you can you can make your peplum as well. You just fold it in. Okay, this is the waistline. If I'm right, do let me know in the comment section. Okay, okay. I'll go ahead, set this aside, and then place the back piece. Right, as you can see, I've placed the back piece on fold now. So, and then I've uh, placed all my vertical lines on it as well same way we did on the front piece this part is the zipper allowance so always remember the zipper allowance is not constant yours could be two inches two and a half okay one inch one quarter one and a half inches so for this tutorial my i'll be making my one and a half inches from this folded edge to this line is one and half inches for my zipper allowance okay and then for the vertical lines the only difference here is the bust line and the under bust okay the bust line and the chest line they are equivalent so i decided to place my chest line here okay why for the under bust the under bust is to help the bust the bust line to protrude okay that's the purpose of the under bust and obviously there's no bust at the back okay so what i have here is that i have the my starting point which is a four and a half inches to my chest line then to my waist line to my hip line and the allowance which is the hem line okay so without much talk let's place our measurements so from this waistline I'll be placing a, my dart width, okay? And my dart width is going to be five, half an inch on both sides. Half an inch on both sides, okay? So I'll place it here. Then on the down part of my blouse, which is on the hip, remember this is the back, I'll be coming up by one inch, as you can see here. Then on the chest line, I will be coming down by half an inch. Then I'll go ahead and connect all these dots together. Then the next thing now is to place our circumference. That is the, uh, the measurement around the body. Okay. Remember on the front piece, my neckline was a uh, five inches. So I will repeat same on the back piece. So five inches for the neckline remember i will be splitting this part open and i'll be joining it together okay so i will take one inch plus five inches i have here making six inches okay then i will be joining the sleeve to the blouse one inch making a seven inches So this is the one inch to join the sleeve to the blouse. Why this is for the neckline and for joining the panels together. So on my chest line, I will place the one quarter of my bust, which is a 12 inches. Then I'll go ahead and add half an inch to hit for his, making 12 and a half. Then I'll be joining this part together, one inch, making a 13 and a half. Then on my waistline, I will take the one quarter of my waist, which is 11 inches. Remember, I'll be joining this part together because we'll be cutting it off. We'll join it together. And whatever I have here, I'll replace it as well. So 11 plus 1, I'll be taking out from here, making 12. Then we'll be joining it together, making 13. Then for this part, 
for the hip line i will place the one quarter of my hip the one quarter of my hip is 13 inches plus half an inch for his making a 13 and a half okay then one inch to join it together making a 14 and a half then whatever i have here i will take it to the hemline 14 and a half then from this M line, I'll be going up by one and a half inches, the same way we did on the front piece. Then I'll go ahead and connect all the dots together now. Then, having done that, I'll go ahead and place my neckline, same thing I had at the front piece. I'll repeat it here. Remember, we came down by two inches. Then I will go ahead and add uh, my size seam allowance, which is two inches. So for the zipper allowance, I will be eliminating the zipper bulge. Okay. So from this folded edge, I will go in by half an inch on the waistline. Then from this half an inch, I will slightly connect it to this damp parts, to this folded edge. I will slightly connect it to this folded edge and also to the chest line. Then I will slightly connect it to this uh, chest line on the folded edge. So I'll be eliminating this uh, part. So whatever I took here, which is half an inch, I will replace it inside. So from this line inside on the waistline, I'll go in by half an inch. Then I will slightly connect it to this line as well. I will repeat same on the upper parts. So we have our new zipper allowance. So the only part I'll be cutting off is this uh, part. Okay. With this, you have your perfect uh, zipper look. Then I'll go ahead now and cut it. Remember, on the front piece, I didn't cut the neckline, same way on the back piece. So this is how it's going to look after cutting the back piece of the blouse. And don't forget, on the, the, on the waistline, if you have any sharp edge, do blend it up okay and also notch all your parts especially for the front piece notch all your parts okay if you are cutting it on your fabric notch all the parts this will be able to guide you when you are stitching it up okay so i want to say thank you for watching to the end and i believe this video has been helpful don't forget to like it don't forget to share it i want to hear from you in the comment section below then if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so press the red subscribe button okay thank you so much i will see you in my next video bye